We interrupt this program for great moments in locale history. Fox Day vs. the World. Today's episode, Fox Day vs. Gab. One of Day's most controversial lessons is to urge his disciples to use the tactics of their enemies. For example, when someone calls you a racist, call them a pedophile. But what happens when the reversal is re-reversaled? Everyone stay away from Vox Day. He's a faggot Talmudic half-Jew, half-Mexican pedophile pretending to be white. I heard Vox Day's known pedophile has viewed more prepubescent boys online than viewers to his own site. Sad. Why do you follow a pedophile? Are you a pedophile too? Vox loses his mind. After first attesting that he was not suing Gab, just a week later he revealed that he was, in fact, in litigation with Andrew Torba's ranted baby. Vox wanted Torba to turn over the bullies' names to him, probably for doxing and harassment purposes. Torba told him to go pound sand. Vox had his SJW lawyer file suit in Texas. So what was the outcome of this battle for the ages? What happened with the issues you had with Gab some time back? Oh, they just, you know, they were... Torba was uh, on his free speech thing, and uh, I was getting some extremely uh, violent and obscene trolls. Uh, I told him he should take it down. He said, absolutely not. So I stopped using Gab. Yeah, that's about it. Um, he said he wouldn't give us the names. He said, go ahead and sue. We started the process, um, and then it just, uh, I just got too busy to, to bother with it. You know, and then, of course, by that time, the, you know, the, the trolls had long moved on to um, other folks. So. The court dropped it for being an obvious lawsuit. This has been another episode of Great Moments in Low Cow History, Fox Day vs. the World!